Hi everybody, it's Miss Jackie with the Viaduct County Libraries. Today we're going to talk about the letter D. You can see the capital letter D and the lowercase letter D on the board behind me. We're going to think of some words that begin with the D sound. Can you tell me what sound the D makes? What is the sound for the letter D? Hmm, let's think about that. Did you say duh? Duh? That's right. Duh. That's the sound the letter D makes. Now I'm thinking of an animal that lives on the farm. This animal says, quack, quack, quack. Do you know what animal I'm thinking of? That animal's name begins with the letter D sound. Duh, duh, duh. Duck, that's right, I'm thinking of a duck. Good job, guys. All right, now let's see, what else can we think of? I can think of another animal whose name begins with a D. And this dog, this animal is an animal that you might have around your house. It might be a pet. Let's see. Hmm, am I thinking of cat? No, no, cat does not begin with a D, D sound. Hmm, let's think about that. What animal we have for a pet whose name begins with D, D. Did you say dog? That's right, there's a dog, D, D, dog. Good job. Now, our summer reading challenge, the theme this year is Imagine Your Story, and we're talking a lot about fairy tales. In some fairy tales, there's an, a creature whose name begins with a D sound. Its name begins with a D, D, D. Hmm, what could I be thinking of? Did you say dragon? Yes, D, D, dragon. Good job. All right, now one more creature. Let's see, what am I thinking of? These creatures lived a long time ago. They're extinct now, which means they don't live anymore. They were large animals, mostly large, and hmm, one of them is a T-Rex. That's right, did you say dinosaur? That's right, dinosaur. That's another word that begins with a letter D. Good job. All right, next we're going to sing a song about a dinosaur, and this song has lots of Ds in it. Let's get started. Our song today is all about dinosaurs. There are lots of words in our song that begin with the letter D, like that D sound. So let's talk about some of those words. One of those words is Diddy. Can you say that with me? That's fun to say, Diddy. That's it. Then Dumb, Dumb, Do. Those are fun words to say. We're going to put those all together. Dino, Diddy, Diddy, Dumb, Diddy, Do. Now that's going to take a little practice. Let's try it again, you ready? Dino, diddy, diddy, dumb, diddy, do. That's really fun. All right, now this is the way the song goes. A hungry dino walking down the street singing. Dino, diddy, diddy, dumb, diddy, do. Looking for something good to eat. Singing, dino, diddy, diddy, dumb, diddy, do. It's big, it's big. It's strong, it's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. That's it, good job. All right, now try singing it with me. Are you ready? Let's go. A hungry dino walking down the street singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Looking for something good to eat, sing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. It's big, it's big, it's strong, it's strong. Won't be hungry very long, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Yay! Good job, guys! It's story time. The story today is called The Last Dinosaur, and I'm reading it with permission from the author, J.B. Crowley. At the end of this video, in the description box, I'll post a link to this story that you can find online, and to the craft that we'll do later, and also to the song. 
parents, when we sing with our children, it is a fun activity, but singing actually helps children learn the smaller sounds in words, and that helps them later on when they're learning to read. When we're doing crafts together, that helps them develop their fine motor skills, and of course, they use those fine motor skills when it's time to learn to write. So learning can be fun. All right, let's get on with our story, The Last Dinosaur. Long, long ago, instead of people, huge dinosaurs roamed the earth. As time went by, their numbers became less and less, until finally there was only one dinosaur left in the whole wide world. He was a handsome green dinosaur with a magnificent red tail. He lived all alone on an island. He was very, very lonely because he was the very last dinosaur and there were no other dinosaurs to play with. None of the other animals would play with him. They were too scared. Every day, now just to fill his time, he would walk down through the hills, down to the ocean, and sit on a huge rock. He looked down through the clear water and he watched the ocean creatures swimming about. One day as he sat there looking down, he saw a beautiful pink octopus. She had big blue eyes and eight beautiful legs. Redtail fell in love instantly. He gazed down at that beautiful pink octopus and she looked up at him and fluttered her eyelashes. Day after day, Hour after hour, they gazed at each other through the water. Redtail wanted very much to be with her, but he could not live in the water. And octopuses cannot live on land. They were both very, very sad. One day, as he was walking down through the hills, he stopped for just a moment to try to think of a way that they could be together. As he stood there thinking, he heard a tiny little voice say, Help! Help, help. He looked around, but he could see no one. Help, help, he heard it again. It seemed to be coming from the ground. He looked down, but all he could see was the mud. It had been raining all night. The earth was soft, squelchy, and muddy. And then he heard it again. Help, help. Well, the mud moved. There was something, something stuck in the mud. Red Tail swung his magnificent tail into the mud so that this muddy little thing, whatever it was, could climb out. Then he strode to the nearest pool of clear water. He swished his tail in the water so that the muddy little thing could wash itself. As the mud fell away, he saw the most beautiful white fairy with a glistening white wand. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Red Tail, said the White Fairy. You are a great and powerful beast, yet you saved a tiny, helpless creature like me. For that, I would like to grant you your dearest wish. What is the one thing that you would like? Just name it. It shall be yours. Well, that's easy, said Red Tail in a booming voice. The one thing in the world I want is to be an octopus. Oh, said the white fairy, are you sure? Because you know, a dinosaur has great power and never need be frightened of anyone. But an octopus, well, an octopus is just an octopus, you know. I know, boomed Redtail, but it's no fun being a great and powerful beast when there are no other beasts to play with. No, I, I really would much rather be an octopus. Very well, said the white fairy. She touched his magnificent red tail with her glistening wand and ping, red tail disappeared. The beautiful white fairy flew over the ocean. She looked down into the clear blue water and saw the pink octopus swimming around the rocks with a happy smile on her face. Then she saw a handsome green octopus with eight red legs swimming right behind. They looked so happy together. And that is what happened to the last dinosaur on earth. 
Okay, it's craft time. We're going to make a dinosaur today. We're going to make a dinosaur out of the letter D. So any kind of paper that you have will work for this. All you need to do is draw a big letter D. Draw it twice. Draw the D and then draw a smaller D on the inside. Then you can color in your letter D any color you want it to be. Then we're going to cut all that out, cut the D out of the paper. The next thing we'll need is a shape that looks like this. Hmm, can you tell me what shape this is? This is not a circle, is it? No, this is an oval. So we'll need an oval. I colored that green and put two black eyes and a little nose, a little mouth on there. You can put a nose on there too if you'd like. We need one of those. We're going to need one long shape like this. Who can tell me what this shape is? We've talked about this before. Two long sides and two shorter sides make this a rectangle. Very good. We need one long rectangle. Then we need four shorter rectangles. Those will be the dinosaur's legs. Next, we're going to need triangles. So to make triangles super easily, I cut out a nice big white rectangle and I just drew triangles all the way down. I color them any color you like is fine. Cut them all out. Then we have one more shape. We are going to use this shape. Can you tell me what this shape is called? Did I hear you say crescent? That's right, it looks like a moon. It's a moon shape. All right, so next we're going to start gluing. We'll take the letter D and hold the letter D just like this. We're going to find that long rectangle. We'll put a little glue on one end of that rectangle and then we're just going to glue it to the side of the letter D so it looks like this. Very good. All right, so that's going to be the dinosaur's body and the dinosaur's neck. Next, I'm just going to show you the finished dinosaur. There you go. So we glued the neck on there. Then we glued the oval on the end of that long rectangle. We glued the smaller rectangles down there on the bottom so the dinosaur will have feet. The crescent goes down here on the bottom. That's the dinosaur's legs. Very good. And then those triangles go all the way down the dinosaur's back. So now you have a dinosaur, a letter D dinosaur. Very good. Good job, guys. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you will be part of our summer reading program. If you haven't signed up yet for summer reading, be sure to do that. You can go to the Botetourt County Library's website to do that. Very easy. And remember that when you do, you can count the time that you spend watching our videos as reading time. You can count the crafts as part of that reading time too. And there's a code that I'm going to post in the description box. You can use that code in the activity section of your reading log, your online reading log. Use that code, and that'll help you finish a challenge. All right, guys, thank you again for, for watching the video and be sure and tune in for Miss Jamie's videos on Fridays and Miss Megan's videos on Mondays. See you soon.